One thing that was making the rounds on social media was the claim that diet soda was causing cancer. The completely reputable source for this version of the claim was something called realpharmacy.com. Now you know it's natural because it sounds like a pharmacy, but it's spelled like a farm. As America's leading diet soda connoisseur, that's not the kind of thing that I can let stand. So I did something that almost no one in this country does anymore. I decided to click the links to actually find the study. Surprisingly, Real Pharmacy was not actually doing the science themselves. Instead, they linked to naturalnews.com, which is essentially the right-wing goop, without, of course, the hot actress owning it. Instead, the Natural News founder started his career with an apocalyptic Y2K website, moved on to start his fabulous health information network, and was even interviewed by the Washington Post as a member of the alt-right. He also maintains and curates one of the most magnificent catalogs of conspiracy theories known to man. Sure, the site is anti-GMO and anti-vaccine, but, you know, that's the easy stuff. It also promotes theories about 9-11 trutherism, uh, birtherism back when that was a thing, uh, AIDS denialism, which is exactly what it sounds like. You can read about the dangers of chemtrails and the lies in the official story of Sandy Hook. When will they tell us the truth about that one? All of this work has earned him a fill-in slot at everyone's favorite reliable source of information. Dun da da da! Infowars! Yay! But at least Natural News linked to an actual study about soda and cancer. Now, no one clicks and reads studies on the internet. We know this. But if you did, here's what the study actually says. Uh, there wasn't actually an increase in cancer. Quote, there was no significant association between soda intake and risks of NHL, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, and multiple myeloma. Oops. Now, the study did kind of hint to a slight increase in men only that uh, was there, though, however, between whether you drank diet or regular soda. So it really couldn't be related to artificial sweetener, could it? And it certainly sort of would indicate that women had lower rates of cancer because of soda, which doesn't make any sense. The study was not, quote, ruling out chance as an explanation. Now, interestingly, the study was quite old, which makes you wonder, why wouldn't someone follow up? If this is a scary risk, why wouldn't someone do something? Was everyone so distracted by their chemtrail-flavored Monsanto GMO sandwich with a side of vaccines that they couldn't bother to do it? Well, to the surprise of no one, there were follow-ups on this question. The follow-up study of over 100,000 people showed, quote, these findings do not support associations of daily consumption of artificially or sugar-sweetened carbonated beverages or aspartame with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma risk. Shockingly, that study uh, did not earn a link. This is the problem with so much of the health information on the internet today. A social media post about cancer links to a website that claims cancer, which links to another horrible website that claims cancer, which links to a scientific study that flatly does not support the claims about cancer, which is then followed up by another scientific study that rules out the cancer. But no one gets that far. People see diet soda and cancer on Pinterest and believe it without checking. And then they live their lives sacrificing something they might want because they think they're making some mysterious healthy choice. When in reality, the alternative, sugar, has endless amounts of science actually showing negative health effects at high levels of consumption over long periods of time.